Hey, it's Chris Callan here, masteryourmoneynow.com.au, helping you take control of your finances from the comfort of your own home. And today I wanna to have a bit of a discussion to you in this Whiteboard Wednesday about investments, and particularly whether you should be focusing more on growth-orientated investments or defensive investments. Because ultimately, is there a right or wrong answer? Yes and no, because ultimately it depends on your objective. So, what is growth and defensive investments? So growth investments, they're your investments that over the long term are gonna make a lot, you're gonna get a lot of capital growth, but there's gonna be some ups and downs. So if we just draw this graph for a second, so we've got, this is the value of your investment and this is time. So with your growth orientated investments, they're gonna start, they're gonna go up and down, up, and down, up, and down, up, and down, and up. That's how they're gonna grow. They never go in a straight line, they go up in a, what we call volatility. Whereas your defensive investments, they don't make as much money, but they don't lose as much money either. So they're gonna stay much more flat over the long term. So this up here is your growth, this here is your defensive. So, which one should you be investing in? Should you be investing more growth oriented investments or should you be in defensive investments? I would say it depends on what you're investing for. And that's when, when you say, well, people ask me, well, what should I be investing in? I ask, what is the investment for? Because if you're saving for a house, for example, and you wanna buy a house in the next one to two years, I don't want you to be in growth oriented investments. The reason is, it, with these growth oriented investments, Yes, they can, like sometimes they can make 10, 20% in one year, but they can also lose that in one year as well, which is not a good investment to be in if you're looking to save for a house in the next 12 to 24 months. So therefore a defensive investment might be more appropriate for your circumstances. However, if we're talking about your superannuation and you're in your 20s and 30s and you can't access your superannuation until you're age 60, that means that maybe a growth oriented investment is more appropriate for your circumstances because the primary objective of your superannuation is to grow for your eventual retirement. But again, if you're only a couple of years away from retirement or you are in retirement, then maybe capital growth is not what you're looking for. You may be looking to defend what you've already grown in your superannuation account. So ultimately, it really does depend on what sort of in, what is your objectives when it comes to investing. So if that's something that uh, you wanna have a bit more of a chat to me about, go to masteryourmoneynow.com.au forward slash get started and book in your free 30 minute consultation where we can have a bit more of a chat about what's important to you and what you're looking to achieve from your finances. This is Chris Carlin, Master Your Money Now. Uh, looking forward to speaking to you at our next Whiteboard Wednesday.